people should be allowed to pay for extra police officers to patrol their streets while everybody else gets used to seeing their police cover cut. 027 103 double five double five the number you need. See these guys thoughts first. Each are residents in wealthy Hampstead being asked to pay per year for three extra coppers. Three, 13, or 30 pounds. Find out after the break. Before the break, we asked how much each are residents in wealthy Hampstead being asked to pay per year for three extra coppers. The answer is £13. £13 per person per year for three coppers. Um, I digress, I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome back, it's our first show of the week. Coming at you live on Channel 5 with Rebecca Wheatley, Jeremy Edwards and you, a place in the sun host, Scarlett Douglas, who's going to bring you all the other headlines shortly. But first, with another 20,000 police officers set for the chop nationwide, I wonder how you felt about wealthier households crowdfunding to pay for extra officers to protect their specific streets. 027-173-555, the number you need. Uh, this is all because uh, residents in the uh, posh London borough of Hampstead are clubbing together to do just that. They're trying to raise £200,000 to pay for two dedicated PCs and a sergeant to patrol their leafy streets where the average price of a home is £1.3 million. But you can find plenty of mansions costing ten times that. If they raise the cash, as I said, £13 per resident per year, then the Met Police have pledged that they will pay for three more officers out of their budget. What's more, the residents' police would not be called away to help if there's trouble elsewhere, like during the London riots of 2011. The people of Hampstead, they argue they need extra police cover after a series of increasingly violent burglaries. There was one recently where a mother and her baby had to hide in their bathroom after raiders forced their way into, uh, through her front door. And their anguish has heightened when the uh, local police station was closed down not so long ago to save cash. But... What about everyone else's need for police protection? Are crimes against people's property, like burglaries in Hampstead, of greater concern than the murder, say, of, of young people? Twelve teenagers have been stabbed to death in the capital in the last 12 months. A 16-year-old, Mohammed Jura Ray, was the last murdered in Woolworth, South London, where the average price of a house is less than a quarter of those in Hampstead. Maybe locals there can't afford to have a whip round to pay for extra crops. And why should they, when we all pay for the police from our council tax bills, typically 12% of the annual charge, which is what, about £160 in an average in a London borough. We are opening the door to two-tier policing, are we not, Rebecca? Although, to be fair, it's been done before, and I think Merseyside Police were given extra funding by local businesses to pay for extra officers there. The difference being, though, that those officers would deal with bad behaviour for the... residents, visitors, passers-by, Yeah, and which businesses is very different. would do it, obviously. For, so if you've got a shopping precinct, I think they do... That, well, they might have private, private security, security, which is different. So it's slightly different. These are proper things. It really makes me feel uncomfortable. And I understand that, you know, these people can afford it. They're putting money back into the system. It's for their own benefit. But only for themselves. But only for themselves. And it's where does the, the line end? So are you the next house along that isn't the, the one that isn't, that isn't the, uh, in the little cordon? It makes me really feel, one... What about all the other people? Also, is it setting up a precedent that if you want to put money to crowdsourcing to any other area, so you want to NHS. save a hospital, you want to say, we want a hospital, you end up having a private hospital because you yep. say, we can afford it in Hampstead, so we're going to keep this hospital, but we're not allowing everybody to use exactly. the hospital or we're not allowing everybody to use it. Uh, uh, the most, you know, if you are subject to a burglary or a theft or a violent incident, it, it doesn't really matter whether they are taking your pension book or your, your pension money or whether they're, they're, they're well, going you to have a to, You have to house. say, surely, crimes against the individual where people die have to be. Absolutely, of greater absolutely. Than crimes against and, people's property. And generally, the crime levels are not the highest in Hampstead, are they? Across the board. A burg burglary is, is disproportionately high, violent street crime relatively low compared to neighbouring city. Road. Now, Jeremy, I'm just wondering, have you been asked to pay your £13 yet? I've, I've left Hampstead now. Oh, you have left? <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't prepared to pay. No, seriously. No, I haven't. Um, you know the area well. I know the area well, yeah, and it is a very safe area, but you're right, the burglary is, is, is rife. I mean, I don't agree with this, though. I don't agree that it should come from the Metropolitan Police. I don't, certainly don't agree that they should add an extra three officers if they chip in their chipping extras. Yeah. That I have a real problem with. 
I think it's a, it, unfortunately it's a fact of life. People who have money are going to get better protection because but they, can have, they can have they can private, private security. security. I don't have a problem with that. But that's what I don't understand. That's what I don't understand about this. Why they don't? Because they already exist around parts of of, of northwest yeah, London so that I know, St John's Wood, and I see them all the time patrolling. So I don't understand why this is even being considered because they have private security firms. Uh, I don't know why they should be involved with. The I guess the police may. We don't know because the Met have failed to get back to us in time. Nice one, but. Uh, it could well be that the police can't afford to have the street patrols they want in the area, and by using, well, if you put in half, we'll match it, the police, ca well, the police are, are responding to residents' yeah. demands in a sort of like-for-like -like basis. Yeah, but which, which I don't agree with, which I think, like I said, if, if they want to pay for their own private... I mean, I don't even really agree with that in principle. I think everybody should just stop cutting... Well, bear in mind that private, private schools don't have you know, many more powers than... Well, they don't have any more powers than the average citizen. Yeah. It's just going around in a high-vis jacket with a presence, can keep people, maybe bad people, yes. off, off the streets. But wouldn't it be lovely if everybody could have it, Scarlett? Yeah, of course. It's such a shame that there are these cuts that people now feel they have to go out and pay money from their own pockets to feel safe. Yeah, but if they can afford it. If they can afford it, yeah, of course. I mean, I don't think there is a price that you can pay to be safe, your, keep your family safe, keep yourself safe. Um, I feel like if you do have to pay that £13... Well, you don't, you just, it's... We're all paying, you know, we yeah. are a society and our typical resident households, council tax, around 160 quid is going to pay for the police in, in your area. But if you pay an extra £13 per adult resident in one area, you get extra dedicated cops on who won't be called away. They won't be there to help anybody else see down where I live in Camden. They won't be there to do that. That's just not but is fair. That, are they going to be taken away from other areas specifically? Don't know. Go Good question. That's the Good thing. Question. If they're, you know, if you're getting extra staff in, I think... One might argue if ahead. you're losing 20,000 coppers across the board, uh, it doesn't matter say. where they're taken from, <laughs> does it? Oh, yeah. For Hampstead, though, please. Yeah. 20, you know, Minus the, the three and, and I think, I, I, I mean, Rebecca was right to, to, to ponder, you know, if we start here, how long before you have uh, a rich people's ward in private hospitals or rich private hospitals which only, you know, NH, NHS hospitals that are, that are only available to people who, who have chipped in extra cash? Uh, uh, may, does it come back to the question of which we all agree with go back to it that we're not seeing so many bobbies on the beat and that's what yeah. people want to see so if they want to fund something they're not going to say I want to fund somebody to sit in an office and you know check the internet yeah. or the CCTV camera I want to see where my money is going whether it's my extra £13 or whether it's the money that they you know well, they what, pay what with you their could argue tax. is where our money is going is to pay off the bankers who led us into the financial yeah, yeah, yeah. crisis because well, that's why we're having these cuts so we pay £160 out of our council tax for police officers Officers, but we don't get those police officers. Do There's a large chunk of that money. They're all living in Hampstead. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. well, the bankers, yeah, we're actually. Well, that's it. Yeah. Double, <laughs> then. Double. <laughs> There's 13,000 signed off. When I, <laughs> when, I, when I did live in Hampstead, I, there was not a shortage of bobbies on the beat. There were plenty of people, policemen walking around. The police station may still have been open then? Uh, well, it was open until, until yeah. what, 2012, yeah. wasn't it? But, I mean, I lived there when it shut, and it, it, I didn't notice a, a decrease. What I'm saying is I think it's an overreaction, and I don't think... I think that they, they, by, by saying we'll pay for extra, it isn't actually tackling the problem. It's okay. just... Overreaction, it's just, it, or maybe it's, it's the start of a little yeah. glimpse into the future. That, yeah. um, and that's where your calls will come in. Uh, how do we feel about wealthy householders uh, cr 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 uh, getting together, crowdfunding to pay for extra coppers? Uh,